Hey guys, welcome you all in a new video and this video is totally dedicated for those customers who's using Samsung Android smartphone and if your smartphone is locked due to forgotten pin pattern and password lock, I mean to say if your Samsung Android smartphone is locked due to forgotten pin pattern or password lock, then how you can FRP bypass, how you can bypass your FRP by the help of this method, you can uh, bypass your FRP. Firstly, you will have to hard reset of your uh, smartphone. Then after hard reset, when you will switch on your uh, smartphone, you will get a such type of uh, user interface. You can see here, you will get an option of welcome and you will get a uh, three type of option. That is the first one is showing here your language. The second one is the start and the third one is showing here, here emergency. Okay. So let's check what happened after uh, your phone's uh, factory data reset when you will switch on your phone and go with this start option and you will have to check out this all these options and you will have to go to the next option. Let's check what happened. Go to the more and agree here. And next. Now here you can see here it's asking here uh, your phone pin pattern or password lock if you have applied pattern lock then it will ask here or if you have applied pin or password that will ask on this page but you can see here here uh, another option is showing here using my google account instead simply you will have to click on this and you will have to check uh, what happens here. So you can see here still now it's asking your Gmail ID and password. So if you have remember your Gmail ID and passwords uh, which was logged in uh, previously when your phone was not locked, you can go with that email ID and password act and you can easily access your phone and switch on your phone with okay without any data loss. But if you don't have your Gmail ID and password, so you can't bypass this page. Okay, so here I will uh, I will give you some tip and tricks by which you can bypass this page. I mean to say you will get an option of escape on this page to bypass this FRP lock. Okay, so after that simply you will have to go to the back option here. One more thing I would like to tell you my friend your phone's battery should be charged at least 10% otherwise in this process if you go with minimum uh, if you go with this uh, process uh, below 10% battery then uh, you it may be possible your phones all the data may be deleted so before you starting this method charge your phone at least 10% okay so you can see here my phone is uh, 15 uh, 14% so I can remove my uh, charging cable from here okay now after this simply you will have to uh, change some uh, settings here firstly you will have to change your your language here okay simply you will have to click on this language option and you will have to select the language uh, UK here and go with the OK here. Now here you will get an option of emergency call. Simply you will have to click on this emergency call option here. Now here you will have to dial a special USSD code that is star has zero star has. And when you will click on this uh, USSD code, you will get a such type of page you can see here. Here you will get a lots of option, but you will have to go to the option that is showing your sensor. Simply you will have to click on this sensor option. And when you will click on this sensor option, you will get a such type of display. You can see here there are some synchronizing option will show on your phone display. Here you will have to wait minimum 5 seconds. I mean to say minimum 5 seconds maximum there is no limit. So you, if your 5 seconds has been done, simply you will have to go to the back button. And now here you can see here there is an another option is showing here that is version option simply you will have to click on this version option and when you will click on this version option you can see here it will show your phones uh, versions all the versions will showing here so simply you will have to again stay here for five seconds and when your five seconds has been done simply you will have to go with the back button again you will have to go to the back here okay now again you will have to go to the back now after that you will have to click on this start button okay and you will have to click on this agree to all and go to the next and again you will have to go to the agree here one more thing i would like to tell you my friend your phone should be connected to wi-fi it's mandatory with this method your phone should be connected to the wi-fi network otherwise this process won't work on your smartphone okay so after that you will have to switch on your phone's talkback option and for this simply you will have to press the volume button volume up button and the power button at the same time for five seconds okay so I'm going to show you how you can switch on your talkback option volume up button and the power button at the same time press and hold for five seconds minimum and you will have to release both the buttons same time you will have to click on this use option again you will have to press both the button for five seconds and release 
you will have to draw a opposite L here okay now here you will have to click on this so while using the app simply you will have to double tap here you will have to click on this use voice command here open google assistant open google assistant open setting you will have to switch off this talkback option for that you will have to again press the volume button and the power button volume up button and the power button for 5 second here again you will have to on this Open Google Assistant. Open setting. Assistant. Now when your setting option will display on your phone display, simply you will have to switch off your talkback option and for that again you will have to press the volume up button and the power button at the same time for 5 seconds here. Press and release. Okay. Now when your setting option will open here you can see here or your phone setting has been opened now here you will have to change some settings here okay. So firstly you will have to go to the option that is showing here lock screen simply you will have to click on this. Now after that you can see here you will get an option of a screen lock type that is showing here uh, at the top simply you will have to press this option for 5 times regularly 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now after that you will have to go to the down here. Now here you will get an option of a face recognition and fingerprint. So you will have to go to the face recognition option. Okay. Now you will have to click on this. About lock screen. Simply you will have to click on this option. You will have to open this open source license. Simply you will have to click on this option. And you will have to open this page here. Okay. Now here you will get a... Uh, document which is written here you can see here so simply you will have to copy this one you will have to copy this okay now you will have again go to the back option and again you will have to go to the back now after that you will have to go to the back option now you will have to scroll down and go to the option that is showing here general management simply you will have to click on this general management option now here you will get an option of language you can see here simply you will have to click on this language option and you will have to add language here okay and you will have to add the language that is you will have to select the language you can see here there is an, another english language showing in simply you will have to click on this and you will have to select the Canada and set as default okay now after that you will have to go to the back option here now go to the back here now here all the things has been done after that simply you will have to go to the back option here okay and you will have to close this okay now after that you will have to go to the start option starting page and you will have to again start here okay you will have to select now you can see here your language has been changed english canada okay go to the start option select all these options now here you will have to switch off this nearby device 
and go to the agree here now here you will have to go to the add network option and here you will have to type in this uh, box that is showing here network name you will have to type here You can see here firstly you will have to type this samsung and the second the password would be frp bypass and you will have to click on this view more option now here you will have to do some more changes you will have to go to this ip setting here simply you will have to click on this you will have to go to the static option now here you will have to fit this ip address that is triple eight dot one two six dot eight five you will have to type the same here okay now all the things has been done now after that you will have to go to the back option here now again you will have to go to the add network option you will get an setting option here you can see here simply you will have to click on this setting option now firstly you will have to scroll down and come to the end here you will get an option of a reset to default settings simply you will have to click on this and you will have to reset the keyboard and erase personalized partitions go to the back option here now here again you will have to make some changes in language here you will have to on the english uk and english us now after that you will have to go to the back option here now you will get a uh, option that is showing here that is text shortcut you will have to click on this and you will have to press the add button now here you will have to type and here you will have to paste that website that i was copy uh, on that page and you will have to click on this add option go to the back option again you will have to go to the back because all the setup has been done go to the back here again back now all the setups has been done here now let's check what happened when i go to the next option okay so you will get an option of don't copy simply you will have we will get a two option that is showing here don't copy and next simply you will have to choose this don't copy option so my friend you can see here uh here escape option is showing in this page i mean to say if you don't have your gmail id and password now with the help of some tips and tricks you can skip this page okay so this is known as frp bypass i mean to say the google uh, gmail id what uh, what it was asking here now you can bypass this credential here simply you will have to now simply you can skip this page here simply you will go with this escape option skip here accept if you want to use new pin pattern and password then you may uh, use from here but uh, right now i will go with this escape option here Let's skip anyway now okay next skip this page skip here now it will show you here your all setup so your all the setup has been done simply you will have to click on this finish option now go to the agree here Uh, it will show you here to select a language so i will suggest you select a single language here then go to the next go to the continue
So you can see here my friend my Samsung Android smartphone has been completely unlocked and all the FRP has been bypassed here you can see here the phone is completely unlocked here and the main thing is that you can see here all the application which were in my uh, Samsung Android smartphone is showing here that uh, like the Baizu you can see here Joe's apps application is also showing here so it's very useful for those customers who don't want to lose their android smartphones data like photos videos and document can use this process to unlock their smartphone and can also use for frp bypass okay so if your phone is uh, uh, unlocked with the help of this video then do the like this video and if your samsung android smartphone cannot unlock with the help of this method then make us comment which type of issues you're facing in this method our team will quick response on your issues thank you so much